Given all the uncertainty, your next guest says you got to stick with quality and value, and he's turning to dividend stocks for opportunities right now. Joining us is David Bonson. He is chief investment officer at the Bonson Group. David, welcome. I want to get your picks because God knows we need some, you know, opportunity and maybe a positive story down the road. But I want to get your quick comments about what Jamie Dimon had to say. The S and P could go down another. He's not saying it will. He said it could go down another twenty percent. You think that's reasonable? Well, I don't think that's what he said. I think that he was talking in the hypothetical that we know markets at any given time could go down. There are a number of inputs that if they were at the lower end, of course, you could see markets drop 20. Uh, here's when markets can drop 20 percent. Any day, for any reason, at any time. It's a permanent, eternal fact of investing. It was true before Jamie said it. Jamie knows it's always true, and all of us know it's true. So, Brian, I think the real key here is that you have one famous rich guy saying things could get worse or they could get better, and I don't think it's particularly actionable. Um, and it's a very weird day in markets with the bond market closed and so forth. We're just in a volatile time period, regardless of what Jamie says well, on any given interview. I don't, I don't want to push back. I, didn't, I haven't seen the whole interview, to be fair. I mean, this just partly got rolled out. The, the whole thing will air tomorrow with Juliana and CNBC Europe and then again here. But knowing Jamie and some of his previous comments, I mean, he's being critical, I believe, of central bank responses, the impact of the bond market. We just talked to Bob Pisani about a two year note and, you know, people saying I'm, I'm ditching stocks and I'm going to go buy treasuries direct. I mean, this is not a conversation I have ever had in 26 years of doing this job. Not once. Yeah. It's a conversation that those of us running money for retail investors, private wealth people, have all the time. But you're right, the numbers are a bit different. A 4% on the two-year may be different, but there being some reason to ditch an investing plan comes up about every five minutes.